Okay, there's going to be a whole rash of new videos coming out. Um, I'll be making a bunch of new videos soon. I think I've solved the camera program problem. Um, I'm going to be brief on this one. I got the new stuff coming out. And I got some new things for you to see. And we're going to start sharing more videos. Um... It only gets realer from here. Uh, telling the truth is going to be real easy for me now. It's going to be easier than it was before. It's going to be no hold barred. I'm going to let you know how I feel. Um, I've said a lot of things to bring you closer. But my family, we're going to get a lot closer. Now, um, like I said, send me your videos and respond to my videos. I like when I see your face and when I hear from you. Father, you know who I'm talking about. He comes and he talks and, and, and he's for real. Um, a lot of you are real. Like I said, I need more of you to hook up your webcams and talk shit with me. You know, don't just type it in. I want you to see your voice and I want to hear you say, you know what, this and that and this and that. Because without you, there won't be any me. It's almost uh, 1 o'clock at night, so I need to take my sorry ass to sleep. I got to do some uh, acetone in the morning. We acid washing somebody's uh, patio and they got some limestone or some stone shit in. We got to acid wash them. Um, videos. I want to start doing a lot of editing. Finally got the new camera to work. I'm not using it right now. But I bet you're glad I'm not using it right now. So, new camera's going to be busting out. I'm going to remix some videos. Um, I need your input. I'm going to try to bring back the Lonzo show. We'll try to do that once a week because um, there's some things out there that fucking bug me and I need to get them off my chest every week. So we're going to try to do the Lonzo show every Friday. I'm not going to retitle anything Lonzo Show 1, 2, 3, 4. No, it's just going to be the Lonzo Show. You have to dig through it, find a new picture. That's how it's going to work. Um, get all the people you know to subscribe to me. We need as many subscribers so we can build our base. And, you know, of course, you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. But the true people go into the friends list. And after a while, I'll move you over to my family's list. And... There's a handful of you in the family's list, and you'll always be there. So, I got probably about one more minute to tell my people how I feel. So, I'm going to go for that one minute straight to tell you the truth. Times have been hard for me. I don't have it too easy, and I'm pretty sure you don't either. The drama at the fairgrounds continues. I am going to produce a set of videos based on that situation, and I'm going to let that go. Just recently I find out that the former boss that yelled and screamed at me the other day, you can see it on the video of the day at the fair, I was telling you, what's your business, what's your business? He called my other boss, um, the guy at the barbecue company, and he apologized. He said that he forgot that I worked for him, and he thought I was on the fairgrounds, you know, doing something bad and or stealing. Now this comes from a person that has never known me to steal nothing. Now as a kid I did childish things. And you know, when you're a dumb little stupid ass kid, you do dumb shit. And yes, as a child I stole something. As a young adult, I think I was 18 the last time I stole something. Uh, it was stupid. I was drunk. And I was all melancholy over a friend getting in a car accident. So what I did was go to the same store my boy had went to and was stealing and see if I could steal the same alcohol he stole and yes I walked in and out of that Safeway with alcohol all day yes I did and then later on that night I bought a bottle of something looked at it it wasn't what I wanted so I went in the store with that same bottle stuck it in my jacket and went and switched it with something on the shelf and got caught so I figured the only way that this man knew about that was to use the power in which his wife had. His power, you know, wife works for the district attorney's office. All he had to do was run the name 
that's an illegal use and abuse of power so to call somebody a thief never knowing if they stole something the only way you could find out if someone stole something is to run a check on them and that place has never asked me could they run a criminal background check ever but the last few jobs I've had have ran criminal background checks and I assure you when you become an adult you put away your childish toys drinking, smoking weed, partying, driving drunk you know, doing dumb shit, trying to fuck everybody moving. There's things you do when you're a kid. I'm not a child anymore. My hair is, n is not receding from puberty. Uh, my teeth are not falling out because of puberty. I'm getting old because of life. And life has made me the person I am. Every experience I've ever went through is all in this computer. No, I'm looking at the wrong camera and the computer works so there's anything bad about me it ain't no worse than anything else anybody else has ever done good or bad life is life shit happens but an abuse of power is an abuse of power so if you want to call me a thief because you read somewhere that I stole something as a kid then fine I just told the world what I did as a kid so if you want to bring that up uh, try to treat me like a thief well then I suggest you run another criminal background check but this time don't ask your wife to look through some old ass files just go spend the money go to the justice department and get the real one okay so thank you for your time and like I said just because you see a person someplace where they used to be not knowing why they're there now don't assume they're doing something that you've never seen them do. Always give them the benefit of the doubt. Because before I call you a crooked son of a bitch or something fucked up, at least I'm going to know. So, since you screwed me over, you showed me no respect. That's how I judge you. Not by something somebody tells me, but by what I see. Thank you. And you've been tubed.